Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about agent in artificial intelligence. So what is an agent? So agent is something that has the capability to verify what is happening in the environment through sensor. So it is able to perceive the environmental situation and it has some sensor for doing it. And based on the scenario, it is able to react it. So anything that happens, like when you take a human being, like we, we are here, and uh, when there is a fire somewhere, like I can see the fire, I can feel the heat. What I can do? I can just do something to stop the fire or run away from the fire, right? So that is called an agent. Agent is something that has some sensor organs or like when it is human being, we have the sensor organs. And uh, like sensor organs are eyes, ears and other organs that can sense the environment. And based on the scenario, we are performing some actions, right? Actions are based on this activators. So we have hand, leg, mouth and all for activating uh, to do the actual process. Okay, so this as a whole, we call it as an agent. And what we do in a, uh, artificial intelligence is to copy this uh, human intelligent into machine. Okay, so when you have this robotic agent, it has cameras and other sensors to sense the current situation in the environment. And it has this motors and all to operate it and to perform some actions. Okay, so what we have discussed, we know that agents are something that has the capability to sense the environment. So it has a sense organ and it do some actions in turn to the environment. So it has activators for performing those actions. And who decides it? There are some sense organ it used to receive the signal. And we know some set of actions to be performed. So there is a mapping that rely between, right? So that is what your agent program do. So agent program or an agent function maps this percepts, whatever is the current scenario in an environment. And based on the current scenario, it is going to select some actions to be performed. Okay. So any agent program, we can call it as we have in physical architecture, like you have the sensors, uh, percept activators in all. And some programs run in the background to this mapping functions and all. So everything clapped together, we call it as an agent program. So you got an idea of what is agent? So agent is something that has the capability of perceiving the environmental situation based on a sensor and react accordingly. Okay, it has activators to perform some action based on the scenario. One example I can give for this agent is usual vacuum cleaner program. So vacuum cleaner program, we have two rooms A and B and there might be or might not be dead, dust into it. And there is a vacuum cleaner to clean both this. Okay, so the perception here is which room the vacuum cleaner is in and what is the current situation in the location and the content. Okay, so it might be the vacuum cleaner might be in room A or B and the room might be either clean or dirty. So that is the perception. So based on this perception, we are going to perform some action. Action performed is either we can move left, right, or if there is a dirt, we can suck. And no operation is, you're not going to perform anything. And this mapping function is there, right? You know what is a perception and we know what is an action. The action, the mapping between this perception, when this is the perception, this action needs to be performed, right? That is your agent program function. So we have this set of sequence. And each and every time we have an action to be performed. When this room A is clean and the vacuum cleaner is in this A room, I have to move right to this room B. And we keep on processing like this. Okay, it, this uh, agent function, this mapping function is there, right? Like this function of based on the perception, we are performing some action, right? So this has to be decided by the user. And this is the major part where the programmers are working on. Okay, they have to find all possible scenarios and for each and every possible scenario, they have to find what action to be performed. And this should not lead into a looping constraint too. Okay, so this is all about your agents. Now we have two different classification in general, we can give it as an agent. Okay, one thing we call it as an intelligent agent. Intelligent agent is one where uh, it has this uh, rules that is already framed. Okay, when there is some scenarios, we know some set of actions to be performed. So without any human interruption, it does automatically. Okay, so here there is no one to say that do this, do that. So automatically based on this, like it is like working without any assistant. 
okay it just sends the environment have take some input from the environment and based on the rules that we have decided already it performs the action and finally we have to check whether like it is like the agent is going to verify whether the goal is reached if the goal is reached it is going to stop the process so this is called an intelligent agent and one important thing is we have something called rational agent so intelligent agent performs some action without any user inter interruption okay so it automatically takes and do some process without anything uh, without getting any of the input from the user whereas this rational agent is something that is trying to do the right thing at each and every step okay when there is this rule defined any action can be performed for example in a vacuum cleaner problem uh, the vacuum cleaner is in room a and the room is already clean and when i want to perform the action i can either stay in this room a itself or i can make a transition to state b room b okay so in that case what happened when i am moving to this room b i can perform the action over there i can clean the room and that the goal will be reached okay so this logical reasoning has to be there rather than taking all possible scenario so this rational agent is going to behave logically and it is trying to do only the right thing okay so based on this action it tries to maximize the performance of your uh, program okay so whatever is the purpose that we are trying to build up an agent for it try to tries to maximize the performance based on this comparison okay so with the with respect to the sequence a perceptual sequence and the set of actions it is trying to build a knowledge base stating that these are all the possible action when it follow this action it leads to a maximized goal okay so that has to be done by this rational agent intelligent agent might be anything it do any action automatically but as rational agent is it has to do the right thing and for performing this right thing we have to set all this priorities like you have to give the priorities preference of each and every task and uh, all those environmental information has to be predefined and it has to be available for the agents and it has to give the give all possible actions to the agent so agent should know about the environment all possible actions and what all the preferable and the prioritized action to be performed everything to be given to the agent prior in hand so that it can act accordingly accordingly and one more important thing is like we say that like uh, this uh, rational agent is trying to maximize this uh, perception right it is going to uh, maximize the performance of your uh, process right so in that case we should know how to measure this performance okay so how actually we are going to evaluate this and whether it is actually benefit or not so those things has to be known in prior or you have to set the parameters in prior for this rational agent okay so now i could have got an idea of what is agent agent is something that tries to observe the environment based on the sensor and try to act accordingly using the activator and there is a program that is there available to map this function between the uh, perception to that of action to be performed and we have intelligent agent and rational agent intelligent agent is something that do some works by itself and rational agent is something that try to find a maximized output out of it it is doing the right thing and next one is like how you are going to measure this i told you now there are some parameters we should know exactly what action to be performed based on the actual benefits right how you are going to measure it so we have certain properties to be analyzed whenever each agent is designed okay so uh, we should know this piece we call it as piece measure for uh, measuring an agent so you have to know like any agent based program you take you have to find or uh, follow all these four parameters so first one is performance measure how you going to measure the performance of the current process environment in which environment your agent is going to perform and what all the activators and what all the sensors activator sensors are mandatory component and you have to define the environment to i'm going to make like i'll give you some example so that you'll understand it better so this is one example for washing machine so when i am uh, automating an washing washing machine i have to decide on the piece factor what is my performance measure washing machine is to clean the cloth right the cleanliness of cloth comes in the highest priority and the time taken electricity and water usage detergent usage and the noise made so these things act as a performance measure and what in the, what is the environment in which this washing machine is performed like you have this cloth water detergent or the 
environmental factors that any washing machine program that works on and what are the activators you have this motor spinning and a time indicator and we have an uh, alarm set at the end whether it is the whether the process is complete or not so these are all your activators and what will be the sensor water level detergent time clock and cloth weight so these are all the properties that has to be mandatorily analyzed for any washing machine based agent solution and next another example is medical diagnostic system so when it is a medical diagnostic system it is going to automatically diagnose what problem that you have okay so here the performance measure is based on the accuracy of your diagnosis okay so when i have when i say that i have these kind of scenarios it has to predict it pakka the clear accurate analysis is, comes first and the time taken recovery time and the expense will be the performance measure and what will be the environment here you have a patient and some set of doctors medicines are there equipments are there so that is your environment in which we are going to work on and activators are what decision what output you are going to give and what all the further treatments so these uh, these things will be your activators and sensors is like for uh, any healthcare system you have a lot of sensors right bp monitoring sugar monitoring heartbeat tracking ecg and all okay so all these things club club it has to be there in a medical diagnostic system and i'll give two more example one is auto door operating system like when you when you want to design an automatic door system what all the performance measured here what time it takes to open and close and efficiency and how much ideal time you are going to set response and noise made and uh, environmental condition is when you are setting a door what happens in front of front and back of it area on both the sides of the door and activators here is like you have a motor to open and close the door that's it and the sensors are going to be the camera and there should be an object sensing mechanism like when someone stands in front of it the door has to open right so there should be a sensor placed in the front of it so th those are all the parameters used to analyze any auto door operating system and similarly piece for a face authentication system is uh, this is face uh, it is like a biometric system face authentication so the performance is measured based on the accuracy time taken efficiency and have handling ability in case of a new face like it has to identify if it is a new face or not okay and the environment here it is working on face and the area covered by a camera and activators are it is going to give a command like you can uh, re relate this to any biometric system okay face recognition biometric system when you are able to uh, identify that this is an existing person it will give a message on indicating the outcome and the sensor when uh, sensors over here is you have a sensor like to capture this human who is standing in front of it we need a camera for it okay so this is what we have discussed in a agent property so now you could have got an idea of what is an agent based problem and what are the types of agent based like we cannot call it as types of a major classification of agents and what is piece for how we are going to measure any agent based problem okay thank you